The most interesting thing, I think, about driving the car itself, obviously it looks like an airplane cockpit inside there. We had water gauges to know where the engines were, which was a factor that we looked at in the pits, whether it needed more water or not. But the oil pressure gauge, of course, tells you the lifeline of what's going on with the car. So as you pulled it up to the starting line, this, these headers coming back here, when you first let out the clutch and the smoke come rolling back, it helped control the smoke going back to give a tunnel so that you could see down the middle of it where you were going. And with all race cars, the fun is racing to the finish line. All the fun stops at the finish line. Then you got to put out the parachute and get it stopped. And we didn't use no miniature parachute on this either. We had a 24-foot cargo chute, and that thing would hit so hard when it came out, it would pull the front rear wheels off the ground and give you a little of the wheelbarrow effect when it first came out. Okay, now you might find this a little hard to believe, but I can actually get in this thing. I'll tell you, when I built it, I was so skinny that they used to tease me about running around in the shower to get wet. Well, I took care of that. But let's give it a try and see what happens, okay? I always get in from the left side of the car because I crashed real bad one time and I won't get in from the right side anymore. So here we go. Let's give it a try. Now, what you had to do is you had to lay your foot sideways like this so it could get in between the rear end and out and slide that one down. Voila, it fits. How about that? <laughs> wow, does this bring back some memories? <laughs> I don't know. If, well, brake still works. Not bad. As long as you got the brake, you're okay. <laughs> 